I just like to make a short video called When America Produced. Now, when I bought this house, this green refrigerator here, and then I bought this house about what, six years ago? This green refrigerator here was in my basement. And this green refrigerator has been going strong for six years that I had this house. And in addition to that six years, this green refrigerator has been going strong for probably as long as I've been alive. This refrigerator belonged to the people who had this house before me. And it just occurred to me that this refrigerator has outlasted just about everything else that I've been purchasing within the last 15 years, I'd say. This refrigerator was made by General Electric. I don't know if General Electric still makes refrigerators, but this is the badge. As you can see, this is a style that has disappeared. The refrigerated bar door is metal, and there's like a wood overlay, and this wood overlay feels better than what you'd find in a Mercedes S-Class. This is a hardened wood overlay. And it does, you don't you don't hear any creaks, you don't hear any cracks. Now, when you open this refrigerator up, you can see that there's almost no style in this refrigerator. I, I use this refrigerator to hold all of those wonderful things that I use to cook with when I'm making these cooking videos. And you know, it occurred to me, you know, I could have thrown this refrigerator away, but I was like, you know what, I'll just hold on to it until it breaks down. Thing about it is this refrigerator doesn't break down. These shelves are metal, as you can see, metal shelves. These shelves are metal, and the side holders are stiff, plastic. The plastic parts that there are, are like the stiffest plastic I've ever seen. Like when you touch it, like you can see the General Electric sign right there. When you touch it, there's no creaks, nothing rattles, it's like, this is like the toughest refrigerator I've ever seen. The, the glass, the tempered glass is, is hard tempered glass. It's extremely hard. There's no cracks, there's no bends, there's no breaks in this thing. This is this is like a refrigerator you would have seen in the movie, like in the honeymooners. And um, basically I had opened it up because, you know, I, I was thinking about, um, I was going to just clean it. And, and it occurred to me that this thing has lasted for so long that this refrigerator could theoretically last indefinitely. You go down to the refrigerator part. Refrigerator part, same thing, metal shelves. On top of metal shelves, there's... Uh, Everything's extremely hard. The one thing I did have a problem with was if water gets into the bottom right here, the water will freeze and it'll make it so the shelf won't come out. That's the only thing that I noticed that there was a problem with. Meanwhile, most of you who've been purchasing new appliances like Kenmore and stuff, or Whirlpool, or even like the Samsung things, how long do your refrigerators last? Like you look at this stuff right here. Like it's it's like everything's metal and very hard plastic. Now, granted, I'm gonna I'm gonna clean this refrigerator out. I'm gonna get some bleach, and I'm gonna clean it out. But I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, when America built stuff, this stuff that we built lasted forever, and now that China builds just about everything we have to buy, when our stuff breaks, you have to end up buying again within short periods of times like you would never have to buy before and based a long time ago everything had a word of mouth it was like back then it was like people told everybody oh you should buy this product you should buy that product simply because certain products lasted longer than others but now that China makes all our shit we're stuck in a cycle of just buying shit buying shit buying shit and all of our money is going over to China and meanwhile, this refrigerator right here, if, if, if I could have done proper maintenance on this refrigerator, the problem is this refrigerator, the, the parts for it probably, they're probably not even making parts for it. Obviously, they're not making parts for this anymore. 
but anything I would buy, I'd probably have to even find on eBay if I wanted to repair certain parts of it. But the thing about it is that the, the, the uh, filters have never worn out. You never had any problems with these metal shelves. Never had any problems with this hard thermal plastic. And meanwhile, if you took a look at the refrigerator that I bought when I moved into this place, that refrigerator is, is you know, it, it, it needs some maintenance. The door... The door um, things are extremely hard metal, but uh, the ones on the newer refrigerator that I bought, it creaks, it's plastic caps on the top that have dam gotten damaged. And this refrigerator, if I could do maintenance on this refrigerator, look at this thing has a thing for butter. And the butter thing, I was putting something else in it because I don't use this one for butter, but uh, all of this stuff, everything in this thing feels like with proper maintenance, it could last another 10 years. And maybe the fan in the back might give out, but you could always replace a fan if they could find a fan um, for the compressor. Th this refrigerator keeps stuff so cold that um, everything stays real, real well. And it's funny because this refrigerator... This refrigerator has uh, only like two settings. Now, meanwhile, if you want to look at one of my uncle's refrigerators or my other refrigerator or anybody else in my family, all this new stuff has like 60 different switches and buttons. And meanwhile, this one only had two, cold and colder, and that's it. And this refrigerator will last because it's already lasted indefinitely. And I'm like, you mean to tell me that General Electric used to build stuff like this, and now we're stuck buying all our shit from Shenzhen, China, and uh, LG, Samsung. And meanwhile, our stuff only lasts like eight or nine years now. And this refrigerator is probably old. This refrigerator right here is probably built in the 70s, maybe the 80s. This refrigerator is over 25 years old. That's what. That's the problem with America. You wonder why there's so much crime, people not being able to produce anything. Even our lowest end citizens can't produce anything because there aren't any factory jobs to actually produce things. And you wonder why that is. Outso it's one thing to just say that, yeah, they've outsourced jobs. It's another thing to actually see that this is what we used to build. And now we're fucked because they have outsourced. And now there's nothing to do. This is ridiculous. I don't know how long this refrigerator will last. Even the magnet strips right here have lasted a long time. Look at that. Bar magnets. It's amazing. I'm just going to clean this thing out. Get me some bleach and some water. And this refrigerator could stay magnificent for a very long time. 